my cousin sent this little note to me in an email. And I thought I would pass it on to you in a video. It's titled, The Quilt Holes. Here it goes. As I faced my maker in the last judgment, I knelt before the Lord, along with all the other souls, and before each of us, laid our lives like the squares of a quilt in many piles, and an angel sat before each of us, sewing our quilt squares together in a tapestry. That is our life. But as my angel took each piece of cloth out of the pile, I noticed how ragged and empty each of my squares was. <clears throat> they were filled with giant holes. Each square was labeled with a part of my life that had been difficult. The challenges and the temptations I was faced with every day. I saw the hardships I had endured, which were the largest holes of all. And I noticed nobody else had such squares other than a tiny hole here and filled with rich color and bright hues of worthy for worldly fortune. And I gazed at my own life and I was disheartened. My angel was sewing all the ragged pieces of cloth together, threadbare and empty like the <coughs> binding air. And finally the time came when each life was to be displayed and held up to the light, the scrutiny of truth. The others rode, and each in his turn, holding up their tapestries, so filled their lives had been. My angel looked upon me and nodded for me to rise. And my gaze dropped to the ground in shame. I, I hadn't had all the earthly fortunes. I had love in my life and laughter, but I had also had to start over many times. I often struggled with the temptation to quit, only to sometimes muster the strength to pick up and begin again, and I spent many nights on my knees in prayer, asking for help and guidance in my life. I had often been held up to ridicule, which I endured painfully, each time offering up to the Father in hopes that I would not melt away within my skin beneath the judgmental gaze of those who unfairly judged me. And now, I had to face the truth. My life was what it was. I had accepted for what it was. I, I rose slowly and lifted the combined squares of my life to the light. And Oh, Phil, gas! Phil, the air, I gazed around at the others, who stared at me with wide eyes, and then I looked upon a tapestry before me. Light flooded through the many holes, creating an image of the face of Christ. And then our Lord stood before me. And the warmth and the love in his eyes, he said, every time you gave over to me your life, gave me your life, it became my life and my hardships and my struggles and each point of life, light, each point of light in your life is when you stepped aside and let me shine through until there was more of me in the west of you. May all our quilts be threadbare and worn, allowing Christ to shine through. God determines who walks into your life, and it's up to you to decide who you let walk away, who you let stay, who you refuse to let go. I have a suggestion. When there's nothing left but God, that is when you find out that God is all you need.
take a few seconds and give this a shot. Simply say the following small prayer for the person who sent this to you. Father, bless all my family and friends and whatever it is that they may need this day. And may their life be full of your peace, prosperity and power as he or she seeks to have a closer relationship with you. Amen. Share with your Share this with your friends. Push the button and share it. And within hours, you will have caused a multitude of people to pray for other people. And God will smile and then sit back and watch the power of God work and bless us all. As Tiny Tim said, God bless us, everyone. Shalom.